<laughs> I'm always blown away by Bang Chan, bro. I'm always blown away by this guy because, like, he as soon as he starts talking, he just takes the stage. Doesn't matter what setting he's in. As soon as he starts talking, people start shutting the fuck up and listening. I know there was like there was nothing. He was just kind of explaining something there. But even then, it's like I feel like when Bang Chan speaks, not even outside of like the team and stuff of like stray kids even outside of that like it just in the company whenever bang chan speaks everyone opens their ears extra extra hard to listen to what he's saying you know what i mean so it, it really i'm always blown away and just like the respect i have for this guy man okay Lino. Oh, the way lena's looking at this man like chill bro this is a this is a family friendly show chill my man is mesmerized. Stray Kids number one. Stray Kids number one. Stray Kids number one. Number one. Number one. Any other, any other rank will not. I will not sit right with me. Stray Kids number one. What? What? Fucking what cunt? What's going on guys? It's your boy Trolltech. So sorry I haven't been uploading anything on YouTube for a couple of days. Uh it's been like four or five days since I uploaded anything on YouTube. Mainly because I've just been busy for the last week and I've been like I've uploaded some stuff on Patreon. Obviously, I try to get one video on Patreon a day, but I've been like not I haven't been able to do more than one video a day basically. Um so apologize for that. But we're going to get more into it again. I've just been busy for the last week um, with external stuff. So, yeah. So, today we're going to be watching a compilation that was um, recommended maybe a month, two months ago on um, Discord. And the video is uh, Chungbin being the problem child of Stray Kids. Obviously, we know he's a problem child because he's always screaming, doing this. And he's being a random guy. I love him though. Chungbin is, yeah, he's one of my boys. He's definitely like, like, I love them all for different reasons. You know what I mean? So I can never choose who I like more or less. Like, I don't, there's not more or less the way I like him. Honestly, you know, I, the, actually, this is a funny thing that happened. I started, like, Stray Kids early on, I kind of basically started as a Chan bias, right? But as time progresses, I'm, I'm shifting from being a Chan bias to just being like, all of them. You know what I mean? Uh, what's that called? Um, I, I, there's a term for it. I forget what it's called. But like, I'm basically, I don't like any of them more than the other. You know what I mean? I can't choose anymore. Like even with Bang Chan, like Bang Chan's my boy just on a spiritual level. You know what I mean? I just connect with, I feel like I connect with him in a different way. But it's like, I still can't choose. Like if someone asks, oh, do you like Bang Chan more or do you like Felix more? Couldn't tell you. I couldn't choose. Or if they Sung Min or I N, I couldn't choose. You know, like I can't choose anymore. So I think I'm shifting from just the ch Chan bias to a Stray Kids bias, essentially. Um, anyway, without further ado, let's get into the um, the video. Chung Bin being Stray Kids' problem child. Here we go. Oh shit! I don't even have my headphones on, bro. Let's go back. So this video is by who is it? Okay, I don't know. Mothman official. I, I've never checked, listened to, watched the video from this channel, so I don't know. We'll see. Oh, here we go. We know this shit. You know this shit's gonna be mad chaotic. You know this shit's gonna be mad chaotic. Wait. Why does why does Han look like a drowned cat here? You know when you chuck like the cat, like you know when you're giving the cat like a bath? That's the vibes I'm getting from Han right here. I don't know why. Oh, what the fuck? We're having oh, is this from Kingdom? Oh, I'm kinda of, don't want to get spoiled, but oh, it is what it is. So, okay, is that Hongjun and Chan having a conversation? 
<laughs> my man did not hesitate. My man did not hesitate. I'm really interested. I'm really eager to see that interaction though. Chen and Hongjun. I'm very excited to see that interaction. I think that might be from Kingdom, right? Who is always Chung with? Of course. My man's at the gym. That's why. <laughs> ET. Oh, there, it's like an American show. Oh, orange hair Chan is my weakness, as you know. <laughs> What's this from? What songs, is it? like music videos, is this from? <laughs> His arms are so beefy, bro. Oh. Bro, Charming, chill. The, the, the thing is, this man does not know the, how strong he is. You know, the thing about Chung Min, he's like a cutesy guy. And he's like, oh, he's doing, like, he's doing that shit, right? But the thing is, you are a physically powerful specimen, my boy. So please don't hit people. <laughs> don't hit people. Even jokingly, because you're going to fucking break their arm. I'm telling you that much. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, chill, Chung Min. <laughs> okay. Okay. Hyunjin, don't exaggerate it, you drama queen. <laughs> Bro, my man's zoomed past there. Their TV is fucked, by the way. <laughs> Bro, Hyunjin and Jungbin duo is peak. <laughs> Bro, he looks so good with blonde hair. What's with that face, my boy? No, because you know. No, because look, this is my way. One sec, one sec, one sec. Wait, wait. See that little smile and the eyebrow raise that Chan just did? You know he's thinking in his brain, when we get home. When we get home, motherfucker, I'm going to give you the hiding of your life. When we get home, see what happens. Because that's that face. <laughs> And you can see it kind of settling into Chung He's like, oh shit. Oh shit. Yeah, he's like, wait till we get home, motherfucker. Oh, the ox accent, bro. Oh, that was good. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Bro, that was such a good accent. That, honestly, Chung Bin has the best Aussie accent when he does it. Oh, don't touch me. Now I'm so sensitive because I'm so hungry. Because I'm so hungry. Yeah, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. You're always hungry. I'm hungry. <laughs> Felix is done with this man. <laughs> Felix is sick of this man. He's like, you're always hungry. You fucking animal. <laughs> he is sick and tired of this man. <laughs> the fuck was that? Yep, that's no. me. You're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. This face, this face that Chen has right now, he regrets every decision that has ever led him to standing in front of this door. He's he's in his brain, he's reversing. He's like, oh, I shouldn't have become a trainee. Oh, I shouldn't have I shouldn't have picked up that guitar. Oh, I shouldn't have sent him that audition. Because my man's regretting every single decision he's ever made. <laughs> <laughs> it's always Chan as well. Oh no, that's Han. Is that Han or Chan? Oh fuck, they sound similar. Oh no, that's Chan. It's always, yeah, it's always Chan. Like, anytime Chung Min wants to act up, it's always Chan in the room with him. Because that's the only, I honestly, that's what I've noticed. Whenever it's Chan, Chung Min becomes a baby. When, I guess most of them are like that, to be honest. Whenever Chan's in the room or they're interacting with Chan, they become babies. 
I've noticed. Oh, 형 방으로 와. 형 방으로 와. 왜요? 형 방으로 와. 아니 형 우리 우리 뭐 회의 할거 있어. 왜요? 아 자꾸 왜요 하지 말고 빨리 와. 응? 응? 왜요? 응? 다 왔어요 멤버들? 아니 아니 너 지금 너 처음으로 불렀어. 아 처음이에요? 응. 좀 이따 갈게요. 어 빨리. such a brat oh this is isn't this from kingdom i've seen this clip before no it's not from kingdom don't worry but i've seen this clip though i've definitely seen this clip <laughs> You messed with the wrong boy, bro. You, Sungmi is not the guy to mess with, I'm telling you. He will choke you with that pillow. Bro, okay, let, like, Changmin being a menace, yeah, whatever. But can we talk about Felix and Bang Chen? <laughs> Felix is dying. Felix is suffering. Felix is fighting for every morsel of his life right now. What is, what is Bang, Chen? Bang Chen is consumed this man in the duvet. Look at him. <laughs> He's suffering. <laughs> Bang Jen is over it. Bang Jen is over it, bro. I ain't getting ready to fight, bro. I ain't getting ready to fight. Yes, talk with You're already in, bro. What do you mean? Well, oh, like in the camera. <laughs> oh, man. My man lost his whole train of thought with Chang Bin coming in. Chang Bin just. <laughs> Bro, he's such a bratty little. Such a bratty little brother when he's with Chan. I love it. <laughs> he's so violent. Don't do that. Oh my god. Can I ride on the Can I ride on the Can I ride on the Can I ride on <laughs> Jane knows exactly how to work it. <laughs> no, that's how you know he's a rich boy, bro. It, you know, the more I get into Stray Kids, the more I'm like, I realize that, um, that Chungbin is a rich boy. Like, just the way he responds to something, like the Skuz episode where he couldn't even touch the chicken, for example, and this, like, I'm like, okay, I get it, I get it, you're rich, you've got a rich family, you grew up in a rich family, I, I can see it, I can see it, like, you know what I mean? Just slam it down, bro! Please. Get a little <laughs> oh, no, get a... One hour later. I love Felix, bro. Whoa! Felix has Whoa! such, like, I feel like Felix has such Gen Z, um, like, American, like, Western kind of humor. You know what I mean? Like, he just seems like another, like, he just seems like a dude that I would hang out with. Like, you know what I mean? The jokes he makes, like, the he always makes the SpongeBob jokes. And like me, he uses memes all the time as well. Like, honestly, Felix is just like a Gen Z or like a young millennial kid. You know what I mean? He's Gen Z though, because he's born in like 2000, 
2000 or something. But like, yeah, he just has such Gen Z energy. <laughs> I actually learned the technique when you're doing eggs. If you just drop it in the pan, it will just crack without any shells going in. It's a new technique I found out. Because I make eggs every single day because it's the easiest protein intake. So I was just like, okay. Sometimes I get shells in there. I'm like, how the fuck do I crack these eggs without getting a single shell in there? And I, I learned that off TikTok. TikTok is educational, educational, I'm telling you. <laughs> oh, they switch sides. <laughs> the captions are the best, bro. The captions are the best. The caption was shouldn't put him to sleep. Because Chan said before, let's put this guy to sleep and then we'll wake him when the food's ready. I, the funny thing is, Chan is probably thinking that just based on his expression. <laughs> And you can tell like Chan grew up the oldest brother as well, just the way he is. He is... <laughs> Changmin is a, is a special case. I thought he actually said fuck off, bro. That was the caption, though. Ayan is done with him. Ayan is done with these these childish older brothers of his. One of these days, Ayan's gonna just snap. I'm telling you. <laughs> One of these days, bro. Oh, that was such an abrupt ending. What the fuck? Okay, wait, wait, wait. Okay, I'm not gonna watch that. But yeah, um, that was that was Changbin being an absolute brat, and I loved it. I loved it. But yeah, no, more than anything, you know what this made me realize? Ian is just like so done with these guys. Sometimes, sometimes one of these days he's gonna he's gonna just throw a plate at their heads. You know what I mean? He's just like so over it. Something he's like, why? Just leave me alone. Let me eat my noodles in peace, bro. Please. Let me just eat my noodles in peace. Um, but anyway, that was really fun. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Um, as always, like be sure if, I've got so much extra content on Patreon. So if, if you do want to check out what's going on Patreon, let's show you. I'm always blown away by Bang Shin, bro. I'm always blown away by this guy. Cause like he, as soon as he starts talking, he just takes the stage. doesn't matter what setting he's in. As soon as he starts talking, people start shutting the fuck up and listening. I know there was, like, there was nothing, he was just kind of explaining something there. But even then, it's like, I feel like when Bang Chan speaks, not a, even outside of, like, the team and stuff of, like, Stray Kids, even outside of that, like, it, just in the company, whenever Bang Chan speaks, everyone opens their ears extra, extra hard to listen to what he's saying. You know what I mean? So it, it really, I'm always blown away. And just, like, the respect I have for this guy, man. Okay, Lena. The way Lena's looking at this man, like chill, bro. This is a this is a family friendly show. Chill. My man is mesmerized. Stray kids number one. Stray kids number one. Stray kids number one. Number one. Number one. Any other any other rank will not I will not sit right with me. Stray kids number one. What? What?
fucking what cunt? 